it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel here in my living room. Today I am excited to kick off weekend number two of the Great Piggy Switcheroo, where 26 artists have gotten together, created art, filmed it, and then switched it with each other. And you guys get to guess who had whom. So if you missed last weekend's festivities, you can grab the playlist out of the description section catch up with those videos and post your guesses in the comments section. We'll probably all announce who we had in a future video. So stay tuned, you will find out who had whom. <laughs> and let's see who I have and uh, let me get you down. Hey everybody, I thought it'd be fun to do a voiceover and give you guys some hints on who this artist could be. And uh, I talked to her, and it is a her, and got some random facts about her that I can share as we go along. And there's a single dot of burnt sienna. It's gonna be a dot painting. <laughs> oh no, that's or. She's just showing us all the colors here. Let's see what else she got. Yep, that's or. I'm doing a good job guessing. I know them so well. Oh, that's latte for sure. Pretty sure that's latte. So now we have three dots. What is she making? Yep, that's latte. Oh, that's cuneg for sure. Really super pretty color palette. As we go along here, um, when I spoke to her, she told me some random facts. I like quizzed her. And here is hint number one. This artist loves to eat ice cream with popcorn in it. <laughs> uh, oh, she's spreading them all out. So she eats ice cream with popcorn in it, which basically told me nothing but it made me giggle, so I thought I would share. Oh, now she's putting down um, her base with a mix of a whole bunch of different colors. This is homemade. I think she has some primary cyan, some primary magenta, some primary yellow, all mixed with some oxide black. And she's going to flood her canvas with that color. That's super pretty. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, another fun foodie fact is that this artist also loves to eat potato chips with chocolate and she eats them together not like peanut butter and chocolate potato chips and chocolate does that help you guys at all probably not looks like we're going to have some sort of dutch pour blowout here she's layering her colors and then what else did she tell me Another food-related item is that this artist used to run a pizza kitchen, which I did not know, and I was like, no way! But yep, she ran a pizza kitchen, pizza kitchen, and obviously food has played heavily in her life because she also worked at Whole Foods where she was the lead in the meat department for the ready made meals which is kind of hysterical because she's a vegan <laughs> I love that she put the piggy logo in the middle so you couldn't see her face in the re um, in the reflection <laughs> that's a good cover up I have to remember that one um, yeah so pizza kitchen you got ice cream with popcorn in it. You got potato chips with chocolate. And she worked in the meat department at Whole Foods. 
I guess that maybe that turned her into a vegan. I don't know when that happened, but it's kind of funny that a vegan would be working with meat in a grocery store. Oh, we got our second blowout. She's kind of a master with the hair dryer too. I don't recognize that hair dryer. She covered it up. <laughs> very, very clever. Very clever. Really, really pretty color combination we got going on there. Complementary colors with the blue and the oranges. Oh, super pretty dried. Look at that. Look at the shine of the piggies. The cells and lacing, absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. I'm just going to shut up and admire this. That is super, super pretty. Loving that. Are we done? Is that it? No, there's more. Ah, she's got out the TriArt Modeling Paste and some Amsterdam Gold. I think she's going to color the modeling paste. Yep, she's mixed them together and put them in a baggie and then snipped it. And now she's going to outline her design. Very, very cool. Which is another hint that this artist used to decorate cakes, which is why she is so handy with that piping bag. That was her jam. So, as I said, a lot of food-related hints. What else can I tell you? Well, she goes around piping up her art. Uh, she's really bad at painting nails, but that's okay because her artwork is phenomenal. Um, she wanted to be a vet when she was growing up. She's a tomboy at heart. We have that in common. And also we have in common that she is an introvert. I bet none of those hints help you at all. Her art should give it away as far as I'm concerned. And when you find out who it is, you should definitely, if you're not familiar, go check out her channel and subscribe because she's amazing. What else can I tell you? She hates the color red. As do I. This is why we're friends. Um, except for red wine. Same as me. <laughs> we're, like, we're both not fans of shades of red. Um, did I tell you she wanted to be a vet when she was growing up? I think she should have been a chef. I can tell you that she has a puppy named Izzy. And that her husband is not American. So those are all of your clues as to who this is. And she's almost done with her outlining. Oh my God, she's so good with the baggie. You can tell she's done this before. That really pops off the blue. It's amazing. I'm going to have to give this a go. Such, such a steady hand in squeezing out the modeling paste. Like, look at that. All of her lines are so uniform. That's amazing. Oh, now she's taking a paintbrush and she's going to make like a pattern outlining it all the way around. That is super pretty. I think the um, Amsterdam gold was the perfect choice to mix with the modeling paste too. Really complements the art. I'm out of hints to give you guys. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, one of the things I found out, besides all the food-related items, is that this artist collects gnomes. She has a collection that she puts out at Christmas time every year around her house. They're adorable. So instead of having like an elf on the shelf, she has gnomes everywhere. Really cute ones too, all kinds of different sizes. 
Oh, she's on part number two here. This is this is uh, turning out spectacularly. I feel. Really talented. You can tell this is sped up. <laughs> there she goes. Oh my gosh, against the blue. That homemade shade of blue she made, uh, that is really pretty. It's like a, a Prussian blue, but a little softer looking. Really like that. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. So do you guys have any idea? Any guesses? To me, this is an easy one. But if you don't subscribe to her, you might not know who it is. Little touch-ups, just feathering out the modeling paste on the edges. Oh my gosh, that just looks amazing. I love the contrast. There she's doing it, I think, more in real time. Oh, and there's the dried results. Check that out. Oh my gosh, I love the 3D effect too. That is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. All right, give me your best guess. Put it in the comment section. I'll let you know in my next video who it is. I think it's easy, but you never know. Um, stay tuned after this. Use the playlist and hop on over. The next artist up is Sharman Khan. We'll see who she has um, on her channel. And thank you guys so much for participating and watching. We all appreciate you so much um, for tuning in to all of us and watching us um, create our art. It means a lot. And wishing you a happy holiday season wherever you are. And I can't get over how beautiful this is. Wow. Wow. She outdid herself. And there it is on the wall. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.